the second method in the chapter skewness is Bowley's method. Now over you, he has given this professor has given skewness based on quartiles. The formula. Dhyan dena please. Skewness is equal to denoted by symbol SK is equal to Q3 minus M minus M minus Q1 which is equal to what? Q3 ye minus M minus M will become minus 2M and minus minus will become plus. You have to remember both the formulas. First and second. Next. This is skewness. We also want to find coefficient of skewness. Denoted by symbol J. Now J is equal to Q3 minus M minus M minus Q1 upon Q3 minus M plus M minus Q1 which is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2M upon M M cancel upon Q3 minus Q1 both the formulas very important generally we will use the second formula but in certain short sums we may have to use the first formula exercise 5.2 question number one from the following frequency distribution of different youngsters exercising in a gymnasium find the coefficient of skewness by Bowley's method and state the type of skewness so we just don't have to find the skewness coefficient of skewness we also have to state what type of skewness is this positive hai ya negative hai now age is given and number of youngsters are given what type of data is this it's a discrete data but over you you can see 25 then 17 then 20 then 18 then 26 so what's the first step we have to arrange it in ascending order please don't forget this agar tumne xi likha fi likha cfi likh diya directly so your answer will go wrong because here we have to first arrange the data in ascending order Let's write age, xi, arrange this in ascending order fi, number of youngster, minimum is 17, 17 ke samne frequency is 4, 18, 11, we don't have 19, then we have 20, 19, 22, 9, 23, 8, 25, 22, 26, 7, 28, 3. That's it. Let's find out frequency. So cumulative frequency. 4. 4 ka 4, 4 and 11, 15, 15 and 19, 34, 34 and 9 is 43, 51, 73, 80 and 83. Let's check out. N is equal to 83. Now, we have to use Bowley's method. So, first, we find out Q1 value of n plus 1 by fourth observation is equal to value of 83 plus 1 84 divided by 4 21st observation 21st observation kaha pe aega yaha pe in 34 34 so q1 is equal to 20 
or medium is equal to value of n plus 1 by 2 yth observation which is equal to value of 40 second observation 40 seconds so 22 q2 is equal to 22 and q3 is equal to value of 3n plus 1 divided by 4 observation is equal to value of 63rd observation 63rd so 25 coefficient of skewness j is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2M upon Q3 minus Q1 is equal to 25 plus 20 minus 2M 22 into 2 is 44 upon Q3 25 minus 20 so 45 minus 44 upon 5 Positive 0.2. Positive skewness. Therefore, skewness is positive. Exercise 5.2, question 2. The frequency distribution of paid up share capital out of the issued share capital for 31 manufacturing companies is as follows find skewness and its coefficient by Bowley's method and state the type of skewness now it's a typical sum because here you have paid up share capital which is less than 100 less than 300 less than 500 less than 700 what type of frequency distribution less than, less than time now cumulative frequency so we always want less than time but we have to find the normal frequency also so first what we will do is we will make the normal classes then we will have the normal frequency and then we will have the cumulative frequency ok let's do it click paid up share capital which are our class less than 100 less than 300 so 100 to 300 300 to 500 500 to 700 700 to 900 900 to 1100 1100 to 1300 okay number of companies First we find the frequencies, Fi, now less than 100 is 0, less than 300 is 6, so 100 to 300 is 6, then 16 minus 6, 10, 19 minus 16, 3, 23 minus 19, 4, 27 minus 23, 4, and 31 minus 27 is also 4, do the total and check. 31 and should be equal to 31 then cumulative frequency CFI 6, 16, 19, 23, 27, 31 first we find out Q1 class class containing n by fourth observation which is equal to class containing 31 by 4 7 point 7 fifth observation which is equal to 300 to 500 what time exclusive so q1 
is equal to L plus N by 4 minus CF upon F into C. Lower limit 300 plus N by 4 is 7.75 minus CFI. CF is cumulative frequency of the class preceding which is 6 upon frequency 10 into class length is 200 is equal to 300 plus 1.75 into 200 upon 10 35 is equal to 335 therefore Q1 is equal to 335 Median. Median class is equal to class containing n by 2 th observation is equal to class containing 15.5th observation. 15.5th. Again, same. 300 to 500. Exclusive, so no problem. M is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF upon N into C is equal to 300 plus 15.5 minus 6 upon 10 into 200. 300 plus 9.5 into 200 by 10 which is equal to 300 plus 190 is equal to 490 therefore m is equal to 490 <coughs> 3, 3 class is equal to class containing 3 n plus 3n by 4th observation is equal to class containing 23.25 5th observation 900 to 1100 exclusive because it's 23.25 so we take the next class here we don't have the exact values कि ये जो four observation है वो कौन से? Okay, because here we take a range 700 to 900 is four. That's why we go to this class 900 to 1100, which is Q3 is equal to L plus 3 n by 4 minus CF upon F into C. 900 plus 23.25 minus 23 upon frequency class length 200 to 5 to 200 by 4 how much 12.5 so 912.5 therefore q3 is equal to 912.5 coefficient of skewness j is equal to coefficient of skewness j is equal to q3 plus q1 minus 2n upon q3 minus q1 is equal to 912.5 plus q1 is 335 Minus 2m 490 into 2 980, 980 upon q3 912.5 minus 335. How much? 577.5. Which is equal to 46. Therefore, skewness, skewness is positive. Important. Exercise 5.2 question number 3. Now, the sum 
इसमें ऐसा लिखा है फाइंड स्क्यूनेस एंड कोफिशियंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस एंड स्टेट द टाइप ऑफ स्क्यूनेस बट हियर वी नो कि एक्सरसाइज 5.2 है तो बाउली मेथड ही करना है बट इन एक्सेल इफ अ सम कम्स लाइक दिस व्हेन यू हैव लेस देन 20 एंड 120 एंड अबव एंड इट इज स्टेटेड दैट फाइंड स्क्यूनेस एंड इट्स कोफिशियंट तो व्हिच मेथड यू विल यूज एंड व्हाई इसमें वी कैन नॉट यूज कार्ल पियर्सन बिकॉज वी कैन नॉट फाइंड द मिड वैल्यू सो वी कैन नॉट फाइंड द मीन इज दिस क्लियर अगर तुम्हें मीन फाइंड करना है एक्स आई तो लेस देन ट्वेंटी का कैसे फाइंड कर सकते हो इट इज नॉट गिवन जीरो टू ट्वेंटी इट इज गिवन लेस देन ट्वेंटी सो इट कैन बी जीरो इट कैन बी समेटिव नंबर एंड वन ट्वेंटी एंड अबाउ सो इट कैन बी एनी नंबर आफ्टर वन ट्वेंटी so here we cannot find the mid value so we cannot use carl pearson okay the distribution of sales of 400 companies during the year is as follows find skewness and coefficient from these data and state the type of skewness okay now let's write the question question 3 sales 1000 tons which are our class Less than twenty. Number of companies. Number of companies are thirty, seventy, one twenty-five, hundred, forty, twenty, and fifty. We know their total four hundred companies. Cross verify. CFI. Thirty, hundred, two twenty-five, three twenty-five, three sixty-five, three eighty-five, and four hundred. First, we find out Q one. Q one class is equal to class containing n by fourth observation is equal to class. Containing hundredth observation, which is equal to twenty to forty, exclusive. Already exclusive. Q one is equal to L plus n by four minus C F upon F into C is equal to twenty plus hundred minus thirty upon seventy into what is the class length for this? 20 be careful here there are unequal class length so it will not remain same for q1 q2 q3 it depends on the class which is equal to 20 plus 17 to 20 by 70 which is equal to 40 then Q1 is equal to 40. Q2 class class of n by 4 into 2 yth observation. Therefore, Q2 or median class is equal to class of 200th observation, which is equal to 4250 already exclusive m is equal to l plus n by 2 minus c f upon f into c is equal to 40 plus 200 minus 100 upon 125 class length 10 40 plus 100 into 10 by 125 40 plus 8, which is equal to 48. Therefore, median is equal to 48, or Q2 is equal to 48. Q3 class is equal to class of 3 n by 4th observation is equal to class of 300. Observation, which is equal to fifty to seventy-five, exclusive. 
f of q3 is equal to l plus 3 n by 4 minus l upon f into c 300 minus 225 upon 100 class length is 25 18 75 is equal to 50. Q3 is equal to 68.75. Skewness SK is equal to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2M. 68.75 plus Q1. 40 minus 2 into median, which is 96. How much? 12.75. Coefficient of skewness J. Q3 plus Q1 minus 2A upon Q3 minus Q1 is equal to 12.75 upon 68.75 minus 40. 12.75 upon 28.75 is equal to 44. Therefore, skewness is positive. Now, here there are comparison, these sums, illustration 8 and onwards, are comparison sums. So we have to find skewness and then we have to compare and then we have to give a judgment. Illustration 8, the following figures are given to describe the change in market price of shares of a company before and after their general body meeting. Take them into consideration to comment whether the proceedings of the meeting have affected the market price of shares by computing coefficient of skewness. Now various details are given. Number of share transactions 6000, link to N1 5800, N2 mean of price of shares X bar 1 and X bar 2 Median of price of shares, median 1 and median 2, and standard deviation, so S1 and S2. Now, which formula we will use over here? Median is given 3x bar minus m. So let's write the details first. Illustration 8, page 193. Before meeting after meeting N1 6000 N2 5800 X bar 1 440 X bar 2 460 Median 1 500 Median 2 480 Standard deviation 160 Standard deviation 2 is 52. Therefore, J is equal to 3x bar 1 minus m1 upon standard deviation 1. And over here, J of 2 is equal to 3x bar 2 minus m2 upon standard deviation of 2. 440 minus 500 upon standard deviation 1 is 60, 460 minus 480, which is equal to 3 into minus 60 upon 60, 3 into minus 20 upon 52, minus 3 minus 1.15 so before meeting and after meeting affect why ki nahi why 
So we write a note, final answer. The coefficient of skewness has decreased after the general meeting. Illustration 10. From the following measures, obtain the frequency distribution of sales in lakh rupees of potatoes by two merchants in a month. Determine which distribution is more close to symmetry. Now it's a very interesting sum. Let's see the information mean, median and standard deviation for both is given. Let's write this and then find coefficient illustration 10 page number 195 merchant a and merchant b x bar 40 45 median 43 median 40 and standard deviation 25 standard deviation 60 coefficient of skewness 3 x bar minus m upon s 3 40 minus 43 upon 25 3 45 minus 40 upon 16 Zero point nine three seven five. So zero point nine four. Now the question is, which one is more closer to symmetry? So is very close to symmetry. What is symmetry? Zero. Can I say symmetry is no symmetry is not zero. Symmetry means skewness is equal to zero. Mm. There's a difference. Okay, symmetry means skewness is equal to Zero. So zero se nazdi kon hai? A or B? A. A is nearer. Okay. So dekho. The coefficient of district of merchant A. Coefficient of skewness of merchant A is closer to symmetry. is closer to symmetry okay. now sign don't matter to us we have to see which one is nearer to zero understood this okay 